Sensitivity, we talked a little bit about sensitivity. If you put two mics on a signal, two different mics, and you go back and you listen, which one's louder? Well, the louder one's more sensitive. It's real simple. And the pad, we've discussed pads, sound pressure level. You put a pad on a microphone, or you can sometimes have a pad on your channel. That board in there's got pads. I can pad it coming in, so if a signal is too strong coming in, it doesn't distort the preamp. Here's a chart that gives us the average sound pressure level of, the de decibel level of sounds. You'd be surprised some of the sound over here. Outboard motors, 70 decibels. Loud music, 70 decibels is considered loud music at 70. But now all of a sudden there's music coming up into the 100, 120. That's painful. That does damage. It doesn't do good. It does damage. There is a representation of a microphone that isn't quite as cute as that 20 to 20, you know, that we looked at. You see how that rolls off? It doesn't start hearing anything till about 100 cycles, really, you know, that you can use. And uh, it's got a little peak at around 600 cycles and rolls off at 10,000. You see that? So that's reading the frequency response of that microphone. You got zero. Zero VU is X amount of volume. Now we have minus four, which is less volume than zero, and so on and so forth. And then we have plus two and plus four, which is more volume than zero. Remember, zero is X amount of volume. It's not no volume. What that graph is telling us is, if I put in 60 cycles at zero VU, it's going to come out of that microphone at minus two. Means it's going to lose two decibels because of the construction of the microphone. If I put in 150 cycles at zero VU, it's going to come out zero because the microphone hears that pretty well. If I put in 600 cycles at zero VU, it's going to come out plus three quarters of a decibel. If I put in 15,000 cycles at zero VU, it's going to be almost minus four.